Have you ever wished that there was a dead simple way to organize and arrange your marketing that it was consistent and that it would produce a repeatable result that would always work? I think I found the way and I want to share it with you in this episode. Many of you know if you're a longtime listener or watcher that I am a voracious reader. I love to read new books. I think that people take on average about five years worth of knowledge, if not more, and distill it into a book that you can read in five hours or sometimes even a little bit less. And it's just a remarkable way to transfer knowledge. So I think reading books is awesome. But I know a lot of web designers don't really like to read books. So I read a fantastic book for you so you didn't have to called Lean Marketing. Now I will say, you should absolutely read this book. It's one of the best marketing books I've personally ever engaged with. And I'm going to share one strategy from inside of this book that changed everything for us. Now, I'll give you a full disclosure. We're in the very beginning stages of implementing this. But in all my years of doing marketing, I've never thought about it in such a simple way before. And I'm not going to share every little detail. I shared some of that uh, in a lot more depth inside of my membership group during one of my backstage pass episodes. But for today, I at least want to give you the overall framework and how you can begin to use it in your business. I truly think it's the simplest marketing framework that I am even aware of. So here's what I learned from the book, Lean Marketing. All you need to do to create a marketing program is have three columns, a what column, a when column, and a who column. What, when, and who. Now, In the very beginning, especially for a solo shop, Probably your name is going to go everywhere on this thing, but eventually you can start replacing some of those jobs with other people. And over time, you can arrange this and you can say, well, this strategy isn't working. We're going to stop this. Let's add this strategy in and try it. Okay. And maybe it's not working anymore and we take it out and replace it with something different. So all you need is what, when, and who. You need what you're going to do. You need when you're going to do it. And you need who is going to do it. Now, it might be that some of these activities are trigger-based. So rather than every week, say, for a time, it might be when a new project is completed or something like that. It might also be that some of these things are automated. A automated email sequence goes out or something. You're still going to put who is in charge of making sure that automated email sequence went out in your who column to make sure that you are uh, staying accountable to your marketing efforts. And again, in the beginning, the who might always be you. But I would take and uh, figure out five to 10 fairly regular activities that you could do from a marketing standpoint and put in your what, when, who column. So maybe your what is going to be attend a networking event. Your when is going to be every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. And your who is going to be you. Boom, there you go. There's a marketing activity. Okay, maybe you want to start sending a client newsletter every Saturday morning. So what are you going to do? In what? You're going to write send client email newsletter. In the when column, you're going to choose every Saturday morning. And in the who column, you're going to write you. Or if you have somebody else in your business who can do that, you're going to write them. And they're going to be ultimately responsible for getting it out. What you do is really not something to be too stressed about. Again, some things are going to work and some things aren't. In general, as long as it makes sense for your target market, it's game on. Give it a try for a few months and see if it works. It's not what people say to do. It's what will work for your people and for your business. Don't spend so much time hearing about all the strategies that other people do. Try to learn from people who tell you how to think about what you're doing, not just what to do, because that way you can apply it for your context and your situation which is very hard where a lot of people that you are getting advice from off the internet because your context is nothing like them. So like I said, in the very beginning of this process, and it's not rocket science, it's very simple, but you can do it. And in the very beginning of the process, it's going to be you. Your name goes everywhere in there. And as you're iterating and you're trying new things, you replace your tasks and your timing with new tasks and maybe new timing. And then as these things get refined, you start replacing the who column with other people that you hire to do these and begin delegating them easily. I can't think of any way. If I was starting a brand new business today, if I could go back to Steve five years ago, or wow, I'm off on my timing. It's more like eight years ago, nine years ago, and, and say, Steve, 
all you need to know for marketing is this. This is what I would tell them. I would tell them to, to create three columns on a spreadsheet or just draw it out literally on a piece of paper. I would say what, say when, say who, write those things down, five to 10 of them, see how regularly you could do them. When one's not working, get rid of it, put another one there. As your team grows, put new people in those spots instead of just you and you're good to go, you're gravy. That's the simplest approach to marketing that I've ever heard in my entire life. Now, you still have to execute on the things. You still have to do the ideas. But a lot of us are just so caught up in our own brains, right? We're floating around in our own heads and in our own brain matter. And for some reason, we're not able to translate what we're thinking about in here to a clear written strategy that we execute on a regular basis. This is the starting point. Get it dialed down on paper, then put it into your task management app or into your project management app, and then take it from there. If you get started with this strategy right now, marketing your business today, I promise you, future you, one year from now you, five years from now you, 10 years from now you, is going to be very happy with your progress.